Hey guys, uh, today what I want to do is I'm gonna I'm actually gonna replace the rod locker lights in my boat, and as you can see, it also needs to be cleaned out. Big surprise there. Joe needs to clean his boat. Duh. Anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is this is actually a 3528 uh, light strip that I have in there right now, and I'm gonna change it to a 5050 because I have it. I also I'm probably gonna do the other side too, but. Uh, just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do this side, and uh, hopefully I can do a little before and after, and you can see how much of a difference it makes. Okay, here we have the 3528 uh, light strip that I just pulled out of the rod locker. I uh, still have the wiring attached here, and you can see um, I have just have basically two pieces that are about 15 inches long, and they're connected with another strip of wire. It's probably about 15 or 18 inches long. And I just had those, what I did was I had those uh, adhered up underneath this surface right here. Um, and there's a nice flat section of the fiberglass that those were able to stick to. And uh, what I did was uh, I just made it so that there's, you know, that, that 15 inches at either end and it cast the light out really well. Doesn't cause a glare at all. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that 3528 with a 5050, which, as you can see, is a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can... So here's the 3528 on top, and this is the 5050 light down below. And uh, as I've, I think I've demonstrated in a couple other videos, um, there's quite a bit of difference in this... Uh, uh, in the difference between these two and the whole purpose of doing this right now is because well for one I'm bored Two, I had to clean out the rod locker anyway as you can tell and uh, I think that in the end the brighter light is really going to be more beneficial at night So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and cut the wiring on this and I'm going to make basically the identical um, Setup but with the 5050 light strip instead of the 3528 Can you hear me now? I'm just too lazy to go get out of the boat, so I'm going to go grab a pair of scissors that I have here instead of going to get a pair of wire cutters. Now right here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut that wire, which was, this is the existing power line from the, uh, the factory lighting, which was just a little 194 bulb. Now I'm just going to cut these two wires here. Now I'm going to pull off the heat shrink tubing, separate this out, and I'm going to have to get off the boat anyway to go get the strippers and plug in the soldering iron. Okay, so now I'm going to start off by connecting the two pieces of the light strip together to each other, I should say, um, with this one wire. And after I strip this, Strip the insulation, that is. I don't want to go stripping. Nobody will tune in. Okay, so I've got the insulation stripped here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a dab of solder on the wire itself. On the black and the red at both ends. Okay, now I've got my solder on the wire. And now I'm going to lay this out the same way that I'm going to have it on the boat. This one here, now when you, when you get these light strips, you'll notice that when they build it in sections, about every two feet or so, you'll notice right there that there is solder on that junction. And uh, like I said, it's like every two, three feet or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use that. I try to use that whenever I can. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach the wire to this end. Got to make sure that red goes to positive, black goes to negative, or you will not have lights that function. Okay, so we've got that first wire soldered. Now here's one of the trickiest parts of this whole thing. And that is, you're going to have to get 
the heat shrink tubing on both ends before you put this section on this light strip. So what I'm going to want to do is I know that I'm going to have one piece of this, this size here, and since this is my last piece, looks like, I'm going to have two pieces of this on each end. So I'm going to need to cut this up into four pieces, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the heat shrink tubing on this end that I already have soldered. Okay, I'm not sure if I've mentioned before in other videos or not. I think I have, but I like to use a candle when I'm up here on the boat doing the heat shrink tubing. And uh, I really don't, need, I like to use it when I'm soldering too, but it can't do it when I'm doing the light strips. I can use the candle when I'm soldering wire to wire. The reason I like to do that is a soldering iron will definitely burn the carpet on your boat. But if you have a candle up here, you can clean up the wax quite easily. Just something to think about. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this first piece of heat shrink tubing. Now I'm going to put the second piece over the top of that. And now I'm going to put this piece here over all of it and over the edge of the light strip itself. Now when you're done, that's going to look something like this, and that's a good, solid, waterproof connection. Here's the tricky part. You have to make sure you put the heat shrink tubing on the wiring now before you solder the other light strip. You're going to put all three pieces on there. Now let's move this candle out of the way. We'll bring over our other light strip. And the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to get some solder onto this light strip. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to heat this up. Then I'm just going to go ahead and melt in the solder. Now, again, you got to make sure you have the heat shrink tubing on here first. And then we're going to go ahead and again line up red with positive, black with negative. Now once I've got this wire soldered to the light strip, I've already got my heat shrink tubing on here so I can come down with the first piece. But I'm going to do what I can. Oh, that's awesome. Way to go, Joe. Now I'm going to do the second piece of the small heat shrink tubing. And now the lastly, I'm going to do, now lastly I'm going to do this larger piece here. The only thing I've got left to do now is to strip the wires from the boat. And then I'm going to connect this two piece light strip that I made. I'm going to start off by putting some solder on the wire itself. You want to make sure the wire is hot enough so that the solder flows down into the uh, individual strands of wire. And again, we're going to have to put on our heat shrink tubing first. So the heat shrink tubing will go over the wire, biggest piece first, then two smaller ones, and then we will solder on the wire onto the light strip. 
Now once we have the solder on our light strip and the solder on our wire itself, then it's just a matter of putting the two together. Again, make sure you've got red on, on positive, black on the negative. Sometimes it's really easy to uh, forget to look at the wire each time. And if you're working in a different direction, it's very easy to uh, have them go in the wrong way sometimes. Believe me, I've done it more than once myself. That's why it's always a really good idea to check things as you go. And that way you don't get done with the whole project and have half of your lights not working. So let's light the candle once again. So here's our first piece of heat shrink tubing. And then here goes our third and final. It's going to go all the way up over the light strip and the end of the wiring. Okay, so now I've got the, uh, the light strip section that I made, uh, same length as what it was before, and I've got it all together. And before I actually put it back up underneath this ledge, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just to make sure it works. So let's hit the lights and see what it looks like. All right, there we see we've got... Both light strips are working, and I have a feeling that's going to actually throw off quite a bit more light than that 3528 light strip that I had in here did. Okay guys, here's the finished product. This is with the 5050 light. Um, I probably won't be able to tell really the difference until I look at the two side by side. So for that, let me go ahead and I'm going to pull the other side apart. I've got to pull all the crap out of it. And we'll show the difference between the 3528 and the 5050. Okay guys, so here's the difference between the 5050 light strips on the left side and the 3528 on the right side. Now, I can definitely see a difference here. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up. I think... Just by looking at it on the screen on my camera, you can't really tell a difference in the color too much, but I can definitely see it with the naked eye. The, uh, the left side, the 50-50 strip, is much uh, a much deeper blue, whereas this just looks like a blue-tinted white. Um, the 50-50 over here on the left side is a little bit brighter as well. And uh, just the way the light is cast and distributed throughout the bottom of the rod locker is uh, a little bit more significant than over here with the 3528. So there's, uh, there's the before and after from the 3528 over to the 5050. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Keaton always told me he didn't believe in God, but he was afraid of him. Well, I believe in God, but the only thing that scares me is Kaiser Snow City.